everyone and welcome back to my channel well guys they were finally going to make the 11 doll from the stranger things show and you know i've been planning to making this doll for a very 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 long time literally since the first season every time when the new season was coming out i was every time thinking like damn i should have made the 11 doll so now it's probably the perfect moment finally because the new season of the show is coming out for you it's probably in a couple of days for me right now it's in a couple of weeks but right now, yes, this is the right season and right now we are going to start working on the 11 doll. The only thing I was kind of doubting about was her look, which one I would love to recreate. But I've decided to go for the iconic look from the first season for this short bus cut hair, this pink vintage like doll dress and a blue jacket. Sounds like a challenge to me, never made this short hair on my dolls. Also this dress and the jacket look quite difficult to make so let's do it today of course guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here of course hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos normally it's every week friday or every second week friday and of course support my art here on youtube with your likes and now guys let's start working so this is the doll that I will use as my canvas. I know it might be a little bit a strange choice because she's normally like Barbie politician or something like this. I oh, yeah, hear Barbie political candidate. But I think her face will work really well for this project. Let's try at least. So first of all, I'm like always undressing her, cutting her hair off, disconnecting the head from the body after warming it up with the hair dryer. And then I will remove her face with pure acetone. everything is gone I can move on and I can spray her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant to prepare the surface and then I can start drawing her face. I use watercolor pencils from various brands plus soft pastels from Pan Pastel. I've downloaded a bunch of pictures of Eleven and now I will try to make our Barbie at least a little bit recognizable as the movie character.
face is close to being finished, I also draw the hairline. First of all, it will help me later to know where her hair will be, and I also hope it will make the hairline a little bit more realistic. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with her face, now I want to create her iconic buzz cut. I've never made a doll with hair this short before, so it's kind of a challenge for myself. So I've bought this special professional hair fibers, people normally use it to cover up places with receding hair. I hope it will give us a good result, I don't know, let's see, <laughs> let's glue it to the doll's head using tacky glue, and then we will see what will happen, I guess. Well, okay, one layer was clearly not enough. You can see that some empty spots are here, and also her hairline doesn't look good at all, so let's apply another layer and see then. Yeah, okay, it looks already quite promising, it's much better than the first layer, but you know, I think that this color is a little bit too dark. So, I've got another box of these fibers in a little bit lighter shade, and now I'm going to apply it on top of the darker fibers, and I think it should give a more realistic result. And you know, I think it looks really, really good. I've added some extra hair to the hairline, and now we are done, I think. You know, I was really stressed out about her hair, I couldn't sleep for a week, all the time thinking how to make it, but right now I think it turned out really cute. So, now I'm going to apply some gloss to her eyes and lips, and then we will continue. So guys, 
I've decided to replace her original stiff body with this beautiful fully articulated Barbie made to move body It will help my doll to look more alive and realistic And before we go on and blush it too much the face, let's make her outfit I've told you already I'm going for this iconic pink dress with the blue jacket look And I will start with making the dress I can tell you honestly, this gathered top of the dress makes me even more nervous than her haircut because I've never made anything like this before and I've never even seen anyone else sewing something like this. So, let's try, let's experiment. So, to start I'm taking a Barbie dress pattern, I took just the first one from internet and I made it two times wider and also a little bit longer. I cut the parts out of pink fabric and now I'm going to connect the shoulders. Now I'm going to draw a bunch of lines starting from her waistline and going up. And then the next step will be stitching along these lines with the sewing machine. Okay, this is what I've got so far. You can see I fixed and cut off the ends of the threads from one side of each seam. And I let another side open with the ends of the threads just hanging loose like this. We will need it all later, but right now let's go on and sew this giant Barbie dress in my regular manner, in my regular technique. First I'm going to attach the sleeves, then connecting the sides, then the back, the bottom, velcro and all this stuff. Okay, I think I've finished sewing the giant dress and now I'm going to start pulling the loose ends of the threads, gathering rows of fabric. I'm going to do it right on the doll and like this I'm hoping to get a perfectly sitting gathered top.
and I think it worked, guys. Check it out. I don't know, so cool. I'm really proud of myself this time. So now I still need to attach the white collar, and we're done with the dress, I guess. Now I still want to wash the dress to remove all this blue marker because it's a special water removable one so let's just dip it into water and while this dress will be drying for a couple of hours we have time to make a jacket. I've already cut out all the details and I'm going to start with connecting the shoulders and also attaching the cuffs to the sleeves. You can see that the cuffs on her original sleeves and also the bottom of the jacket are gathered and I'm going to make it in the same way like we've just did it to make the gathered top. So here is the finished jacket and this is also the finished outfit and I think it looks super believable and very 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 realistic. Really love the outfit, it took me a couple of days to finish it but yeah the result is really beautiful I think. Now I still want to add a pair of socks to the look, I've quickly made a basic pair of white socks and now I'm going to paint the lines, the green and yellow lines, the same like Eleven has on her socks in the show.
So here are the socks, they look really good I think and I still want to complete this look with a pair of sneakers I've bought them really <laughs> a century ago, probably five years ago and now I think it's their time because I think they will look really beautiful with the rest of the look So we're almost done guys, I just need to blush her body really quickly to match her face with the body and then I will put everything together and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. Well, I've still decided to add some blood running out of her nose. I think it will make her look even more detailed and realistic. And now I think we're officially done. So, and this is the finished doll and there is literally nothing has left from that Barbie politician. Of course, with the standard Barbie faces that are not sculpted like actual celebrities, it's quite difficult to reach a hyper-realistic likeness effect. But I think I've managed to make her very much recognizable. I was not sure in the beginning if I was able to make her hair and the dress, but actually both of them turned out absolutely beautifully, and I still have a lot of this hair fiber, so I will have to make another doll with a bus cut in the future. And her outfit looks really realistic and very close to the original outfit in the show, so I'm really, really happy, and I'm really happy that I finally made the 11 doll after all this years of planning and you know I feel very ready for the new season of the Stranger Things right now I really hope it will be good so and now I'm really looking forward to hearing your feedback I hope you like the makeover today and this doll is right now for sale for three days on eBay so please check it out if you're interested the link is in the description box under this video so and that was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you've enjoyed it today and if so please guys don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and I will see you very soon, normally next week Friday and this time it's gonna be Mirabelle finally from Encanto, I know I've been teasing you with this Mirabelle doll already for a very long time but the next one will be Mirabelle, I promise you. So, love you guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye!